Hi everybody, it's Landon Hart again. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. So, today it's going to be a nice day out, or kind of nice day with all that rain. Because today I am going on a day trip. So, traditionally in Canada here, sometimes people like to go for a day or two in order to look at the autumn leaves and take some of the trails as well. Because it's the month of October, it's one of the most common places and one of the most beautiful times of the year in order to check out the autumn leaves. So, I'm guessing like this would happen during Thanksgiving, that kind of stuff. It uh, happened just about either a week ago or Monday, who's counting. But it's going to be pretty fun. So I'm already dressed. Um, I have my lucky necklace on, or my signature necklace, which because I like to wear. And then we'll be packing up some water and some power banks and at least a flashlight as well. So then we can go out. Let's go get ready. <clears throat> well, right now it looks like we have a little change of plan so far. So far, I don't think anyone's going to be hiking because of this. Hold on, let me get to my other window. Yeah, I don't think anyone is going to be going out or hiking in this weather anytime soon. And in case you're wondering what this stuff is, I'm enchanting some talismans, so I need one full moon cycle for them to be fully enchanted. But it's full with salt, dried herbs that I grew, that kind of stuff, and yeah. So, right now the plan is to just try to wait out till the storm is over. Oh, look at that wind! And basically it'll be pretty cool. Maybe you change your plans, but according to the weather network, it says it's going to be like over in like half an hour. Hopefully. Alright, so right now the rain has completely stopped. It's now sunny for, well, who knows how long, that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's time to head out. I'm in my hoodie, I got my rain jacket on me, and it's time to go. So, rain stopped, sun shining, and the wind's blowing. That is fall here in Canada. Today I'm in an apple farm right now, and we are going to go pick some lovely apples. And check it out. There's these signs around here saying what um, what branch of trees that each apples are going. So this is a Jonah Goal apple. I don't know how you pronounce it. I can't wait, let's start picking. Oh look, here's one. I just feel like I can walk through these fields forever. I guess this is what the feeling of what the countryside is going to be like. Being able to walk through like beautiful fields for eternity. Apples! Mmm. Let's go pick some. Oh, I found... Oh, I picked one. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too, me too. Look, very nice. Now let's grab it in the bag that they provided with me. Oh, very nice. 
It's time to get picking. Oh, check it out, more apples. I think apple picking is now my favorite fall activity. Whoa. Oh. There's some nice ones over here. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm thinking about things like apple pudding, apple cake, apple danish, apple's juice maybe even. But we're gonna keep collecting. Mmm, I wanna try to see. I think an apple just fell. Hey, check it out. This tiny tree here, it's grown so many apples over the time. Okay, that's it. I definitely want an apple tree, and a cherry tree, and a peach tree. And also a watermelon patch, and a cherry tree, a peaches. Yeah, I think I'm over expectation, that kind of stuff a lot. But still, those are kind of things that I kind of want to grow one day in the future. I mean, think about how wealth of all of that kind of stuff. Like, I have to pay per pound for this stuff, but it's so cool. I also enjoy the experience of the country. I mean, look at along those borders of those beautiful autumn leaves. It's almost like we have a barrier around us, and only good vibes are allowed. You know, there's something always about these farm places. Like, it's a good thing, but it makes me think of like, every time I look at an apple, it just makes me feel tempted to pick. I mean, even right now, I kind of want to pick this, but I want to save other apple species as well to also give it a try. So I'm kind of trying to hold off on buying apples or picking apples. But I guess if it comes to that, I guess I can get more bags because I probably have enough apples to probably last me the entire fall or winter season, if that's even possible. Okay, now I'm curious. Is it even possible to survive on apples for one entire season? Like, let's say I have a bunch of apples for the entire winter season, and that's all I can eat. Is that healthy? Like, I know it's obviously not healthy, but is it also possible as well? Uh, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm in one of the other aisles of the apples, which is known as Honeycrisp, but besides those, there aren't exactly that much Honeycrisp apples so far. Okay, yeah, there are some, but not as big and nice as like the Macintosh that we got. But I guess it's for the fun of it as well. Just seeing what apples are there for the harvest. Okay, probably new theory. Maybe the apple, um, maybe the jano, or however these apple species are in this area, they're probably camouflaged because like they're about the same color. Just like this. Or maybe they grow inside, clearly. I mean, clearly I don't see them outside and they're not exactly like really bright red like Macintosh or dark reddish or reflective red, or whatever you call the red, of a Macintosh apple. Oh, 
tall. They're almost like the same size as the Macintosh apples I picked. But I don't know. I kind of want to like just be really careful because I don't want to like put the apples on the ground. Okay, this is all the apples I have collected today. It's really nice and gorgeous to be here. And basically, if I was on a road trip and I had to get food, I'd probably find an apple farm to pick apples because it's like $2 a pound or something. Oh, I'm guessing about like this is probably about five pounds or something of apples I have worth. But I'm not sure, but for my road trip theory thing, I'm not sure if that will work. Let me know if that will work in the comments because I could probably be good for like about 10 or 20 days full of the apples. Okay, so next place on this pineapple farm is the farmer's market. I guess this is kind of like one of the plus places I like to visit or I guess, because like they have like a lot of cool stuff to be sold like homemade honeys, fresh produce grown locally in their farmlands, beautiful pumpkin scenery for fall. Fresh produce, jams, and also tasty delicious desserts as well, such as cookies, pies, tarts. Ah, oh, I even smell the smoke of fire, of wood burning on a fire. That's like my favorite scent. Uh, anyway, this is a pretty cool place. Okay, there are some really great stuff in the farmer's market over there behind me. So basically what I got was a two liter of apple cider. I never tried apple cider cold before, but I'm willing to give it a try because I'm used to drinking apple cider in powdered form, but probably not the same. And I also got this lovely blueberry pie as well. Mmm. Okay. Well, anyway, we should get going and get to our next stop. Anyway, it's going to be another hike to see the autumn leaves around a lake or a pond or something. But let's see what it goes. So right now I'm in a conservation trail and we are going to be heading inside these trails as well. So it's probably going to be a 30 to 40 minute hike short um, hike so far. So basically we are going to see what it's like. And what's in store with the autumn leaves? Guys, check this out. Oh look, I think there's a bird nest up there. Anyway, let's go check it inside. Okay, so this is like the map trail of Skyline Creek Conservation Area, the park which I am in right now. And basically, I am going to take this red trail over here, which is called the Sugar Maple Trail because it's for this particular fall colors and spring flowers, that kind of stuff. And basically, that's why I'm here to see the spectacular fall leaves. Like, look. Ooh. This is so cool. Being inside the forest was like being in another world. The sunlight reflecting off the leaves showing its colors, its green and yellowish colors so far, was an amazing sight to be. Having my compass around came in handy, even on the solar power bank because I forgot to take a picture of the map and I kind of also need to get a better idea of where to go, so I think I was heading north of this area as well. Okay, this seems a little bit ominous. It's so a major tight squeeze. Man, that was a little bit difficult. 
basically it starts off that a lot of cars were parking along those curb lines areas over there and then basically we managed to figure out how to get a space over here and then afterwards that space turned out to be like a little bit cramped as well so we had like about three or five cars trying to get out some of them trying to park and we don't know what else happened to the rest but yeah but one thing for sure that's common though they're all here to see the autumn leaves here like in the parking lots so there's three over here, so here. There's four parking lots here. I think why know where this trail leads now oh check it out It's very nice around here. Well, it does seem like a pretty short trail. That trail just only leads to like the lake that's right behind me. And there are tons of people that come to it just to see the autumn leaves by the lake as well. It's really nice, like really serene and really something for a fall as well. I guess the next plan is to try to figure out what else is there around here and then finally go for dinner as well because it looks like I could just like walk around the lake. Hopefully. Whoa, this trail is longer than I thought it would be. At least we're not alone here. Or I'm alone here. Oh, another lookout spot to look at the leaves in the lake. Whoa! Now this is what usually people come and see. Things like this. It's a great little opportunity for this season as well. I mean, there's a trail to go around the lake, which is probably further or up to a dead end or something. You can actually like take a picture of it from that angle over the shoreline over there. There's one it's thing about really being cool. part of this lake, it's about the clouds. There was a windy bit day, but not too windy, just to have the clouds move enough, and you couldn't even feel the wind sometimes as well. But it was really serene, really magical, that I wanted to put it a slow motion or a fast motion to watch all the clouds disappear, but I don't know how that will affect as well. But it was really nice, the water was so clear, crystal clear, that you can actually see what's in the lake. It was kind of almost getting late, so we decided to head home, but this was probably one of my most beautiful places and favorite moments of it as well. On this hike trail when we were heading back, the sun reflecting trees or shining through the tree trunks was almost like having a light back home, and I kind of wanted to go home first as well. But 
Before I did that, and from the glare, there was one thing I needed to grab. Dinner. But there was nothing more than s using the sun's light to lead you back home, or out of the forest. So, after a day of hiking, apple picking, and more driving, we are finally eating dinner. Uh, right now I'm at Mexican Amigos. I ate here about 2018, so a few years ago so far. And I'm not sure what have changed so far except for the whole like outdoor patio eating thing as well. But I remember did one thing about this place is that they usually have live weekends on the weekends. There was so much food. The calamari, so crispy. The nachos, ah, uh, from the oven, the quesadillas, and now my burrito platter, the fish tacos. I really enjoyed the fish tacos and it was so good, even the rice and the beans as well. And tonight concludes today. It is 11 a.m. I got home a few hours later. I am just currently rested. I just streamed and basically I still need to remember to make my ending vlog as well. So it's been a very exciting day. I think my favorite day of the whole day was the apple picking as well because picking your own apples, hey, that seems pretty cool. Not to mention, I think we got a lot of apples though, like Macintosh mostly. But anyway, I'm going to, have to figure out what to do with all these apples in the app in the bag of apples I just bought like a week ago, or three days ago. And therefore, I am going to try to rest up the best as I can. By that, I mean I am just going to watch Big Sky and also some stuff on Twitch while also editing my video right now. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Bye everybody, I'll see you next time on my next adventure.